Hello guys, in modern SaaS solutions in the pricing structure, there is one important trend that I want to show you how to implement it in Laravel. Yes, I'm talking about credits per month in addition to typical monthly fee. So for many years we were used to pricing like for example Laravel Forge based on features. So for example in the business plan you can share servers with teammates, you have database backups and so on. Now I've checked a few real projects from Product Hunt and just pretty random pricing pages without even taking a look at what they do. Starter team growth and as you can see credits per month are here in the pricing. I've zoomed that in so this is the metric. Then another pricing plan is also with credits, also daily credits, it may be more complex. And another example, it's anchors, so-called anchors, whatever that is. It may be tokens, it may be credits, it may be some internal currency or item or point. The main thing is that in addition to calculating the typical subscription with Stripe, for example, we need to also calculate the monthly credits. And it makes sense, especially with projects related to AI that use AI under the hood because, well, they use AI credits as well. And then they put that pricing on the users respectively. So how to add that in Laravel? In addition to Stripe, I will show you Stripe and Laravel cashier power demo project with calculating credits on top. And this will be a very simplified version. We will calculate credits locally in the database, but there may be other implementations and more complex pricing structures. And final note in this intro, if you don't have the project immediately that would use that pricing, it may be beneficial to learn. Just look at my tweet with an example where I screenshot at the comment from Asfia, who has been using my advice to go to Upwork, take a task and create a demo project, upload it on GitHub, and then it helps in the conversations with employers and clients. So I think this practical project could help you to showcase your knowledge with pricing, SaaS, and how to do that in Laravel. Let's go dive into the code. The project itself actually uses AI and it uses sources to generate blog articles. So for example, I can create a source and for example, I will put the text from one of my courses, the courses video and text. So I can put that here and maybe that project could help me generate a blog article and repurpose that lesson. So I create a source, it lands in the database and then this is the main functionality, generate blog. In the code there's source controller with generate function which calls the service to generate the blog article and under the hood it uses prism package with anthropic provider and haiku model to well generate the blog. Let's try it out. So if I click generate blog, I should wait for like 10 or 20 seconds. This is how much it takes for Anthropic to generate that text. And there we go. The result I'm redirected to sources show page. And as a result, I have article like this. Of course, I will not use it right away. If I do need it, I would rewrite it heavily. And this is just a demo project. This is not for actually generating blogs for Laravel daily. But what I wanted to show you here is on the left side, as you can see, 10 credits out. So I had 100 credits, now I have 90. And this is the case in this project, I've hard coded one block generation to cost 10 credits. And then if you go to billing and plans, you have 90 credits remaining here. If you go to homepage, also it is shown. And finally, there's a menu item called usage history, which shows what was deducted and when. So this is the functionality in the database. This is the structure of the user's table. As I mentioned, the most simple implementation to show the main points is in the user's table. I save credits remaining and credits limit according to the plan. So by default, new users on free plan get 100 credits limit and also there's a field credits reset at which means when the last reset happens reset to 100 in this case and then there's also a separate kind of log table called credit transactions with what was done when and with what source in addition to that there are stripe table cashier table so subscriptions stripe id and others but in this case i will demonstrate free plan for now now let's dive again into the code and I will show you how the points are deducted, the credits. So in the same generate method, at the very end, after the block text is processed, then we have this. We have separate credit service and method deduct. 
So service works with user model injected and how much needs to be deducted. So deduct credits and then we do two things. We decrement the amount and also add the new record into credit transactions. Also this method to generate blog is validated by middleware. So if we take a look at routes web and we find that generate we have middleware ensure sufficient credits so if someone tries to generate blog post with zero credits left for example we call the credit service method has credits and if the result is false user has credits in this case i'm checking that at least one credit is present but again the logic may be much more complicated so that middleware ensures that if we don't have credit we are redirected back with insufficient credits please top up or or upgrade the plan now with plan upgrade as you saw in the database in the user stable subscription plan is free by default and all the plans are described in php enum in this case free pro and enterprise with the amount of credits for each plan also the pricing of each plan and also price id which is in the config and env file and label and one more helper method now where it is used now what happens if someone subscribes to the plan we have billing controller here and it's powered by laravel cashier but this is probably the main thing we need to take a look at in subscribe method subscription service subscribe method calls the method of user powered by laravel cashier and then on the back end we have stripe webhook controller with handle invoice payment succeeded and this is where we reset the tokens the credits so if everything is successful then we have credit service reset method which calls user reset credits method in its own turn and then this is where the credits update happens so we update those three fields according to the plan and that new limit is in the plan so current plan is a subscription plan from the database then that plan as you saw already in the enum has credit limit number returned and again with resetting the credits we also add credit transactions so this is what happens when someone subscribes to the plan now when the credits get reset every month for that we have a separate artisan command so there's reset monthly credits artisan command this is the one credits reset monthly it should be executed once a day or you may configure it more often but basically it gets all the users and then checks if every user needs reset of credits and then if they do for each users needing reset we perform that reset and that condition of needs reset looks like this just date operation if the month has passed or not finally in the subscription service there are other methods to well change your subscriptions like change plan cancel and resume and something like that and inside we have update plan in all of them which performs again resetting the credits and updating credit transactions records so this is kind of the overview of my simplistic method to update the credits but there are other alternatives for example you can use the same payment provider method in stripe it's called metered billing or usage based billing so this is the separate documentation page with something like this so usage meter how much of something it was used but then the thing is that data is on stripe and you cannot really query that easily and quickly whenever you need but it's also a possibility another possibility there are various laravel packages to manage internal so-called wallets or credits or points or whatever you call it so for example there's one laravel wallet to manage kind of internal currency so user has wallet and then you deposit you balance you withdraw and something like that so you can use something for points tokens and credits or another similar i saw recently on laravel news manage credit based systems in laravel another package this is called credits package nothing really fancy here similar syntax user has credits and then you add or deduct credits but to be honest i'm not sure if those packages for this specific case add more benefit but then you depend on that package and if new laravel version comes up then every additional dependency stops you from upgrading laravel so i would double check if some packages are really that useful and brings additional benefit to just updating the credits in the database 
or maybe you have any other suggestions how to implement that credit and token based calculations we can discuss in the comments below and if you want the full source code of that project as usual now it's a tradition i added it to project examples on laravel dailycom website so this is the new project more info and premium members of laravel daily can go to github and access the full source and play around and experiment this is one of my ways to balance free content here on youtube and then premium content with source code and more in-depth analysis for premium members so that's why it's beneficial to subscribe to membership on laraveldaily.com in addition to 80 or more courses and new courses coming every month the latest one is as I mentioned already on modules. That's it for this time and see you guys in other videos.